them plenty, I ran on her hennies, yeah, we at the top floor, right there on Duini, yeah, oh no, I can't fuck with y'all, yeah, when I'm with my squad, I cannot do no wrong, yeah, it's all me in the What's up, what's up, what's up, Freedom Fighters? It's your boy Jonathan Belcher here. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. Now, I'm going to be driving here as I'm recording this video. I don't advise to do this at home. Don't try this. It's not the safest thing to do. Uh... But, yeah, so let's talk about what's going on in society, in the world, you know, because everybody's aware, everybody's conscious of it, so we can't ignore what's going on in society, in the world. We got to discuss that stuff uh, because it does affect, it does affect all of us in some way, shape or form, right? So we, we got this pandemic going on right now. You know, a lot of people are in fear, a lot of people are uncertain about where things are going. Um, but I can tell you, based on the signs, I can tell you that, you know, the economy is tanking, you know, based on the signs. I can tell you that, I don't know if they're trying to save the economy or if they're trying to push it further to tanking. I don't, you know, sometimes it's a little confusing, but what I will say is that they're sending out all of these stimulus checks and stuff. Um, you know, they're giving out the money, they're giving money to people and stuff like that. But realize something, they're giving out these, these stimulus checks to everybody, but it is gonna form some type of inflation because most likely, most likely these stimulus checks that people are getting uh, is from the government printing money. And the more money the government prints, the less the dollar is worth. And that's really what's been happening for the last, you know, century really. You know, the, the dollar has been getting weaker and weaker and weaker and has been losing its value uh, which you were able to get back in the 90s which you were able to purchase in the 80s with ten dollars even five dollars even a dollar right you can't get today for the same amount you know you got to pay a lot more money for the same thing we used to get in the 90s and 80s spending way less money so clearly uh, clearly uh, inflation is a real thing but think about the inflation that's gonna happen after this pandemic stuff clears up you know, after this, if that's if it clears up soon, you know, but, you know, things are going to be rough economically. Things are going to get real rough economically. If you if you pay attention to the signs and you see what's going on in, in society and you see what's going on with this pandemic, I'm not as afraid. I'm not as worried. I'm worried about people's health. Don't get me wrong. I'm worried about people's health. I'm worried about, uh, you know, people being okay but after that i'm also worried about the economy you know because look at how much businesses have been shut down look how much people have been laid off all these businesses that have been shut down for this long a lot of them can't sustain you know their business not being in business this long you know there's no pro productivity going on so and a lot of these businesses won't come back i'm talking about like mom and pop stores i'm talking about stores that you could physically go to uh, businesses that you can physically go to and buy stuff, buy goods from. That's what I'm talking about. Now, but also realize that when there's a shift, when there's a change, when there's a problem, when there's a pandemic, when there's an economic depression, when there's a recession, realize that that's a time for opportunity, meaning that something new is coming. And you can either be prepared, you can be ahead of the curve for that new thing that's coming, that new wave of you know, making money or that new way of living, you can either be ahead of that curve and benefit off of it, or you cannot be prepared and just not adjust to the times. And then, you know, unfortunately, you'll be one of those people dealing with the after effects of inflation and the after effects of them printing all this money and the after effects of all these businesses being shut down and stuff and these people being laid off. And you know, I spoke about in my other videos, the unemployment rate is the highest it's ever been. The unemployment rate is the highest it's ever been, at least in my lifetime, at least in my lifetime. It's the highest it's ever been in my lifetime. And that's very telling. I'm talking about, I got a friend 
My, I got a friend of mine who's a physical therapist. He got a great job, a good job, right? Makes good money. His company laid him off. They said, we can't afford to pay you anymore. You know, because we don't have, we can't open up our uh, practice. So you're gonna have to file for unemployment. And he's like distraught because he's like, yo, I worked so hard to become a physical therapist. I worked so hard to get here. Now I'm being told that, you know, basically there's no place for me to practice anymore. So when you think of the, this stuff happening, you know, it's the change in the times. It's the changing times happening. You know what I mean? The change in the times. But with these times, there's also new opportunity being birthed. And if you make wise decisions, you'll be able to capitalize on the changes. So what are some changes that are gonna come that I think, and, and usually my predictions are pretty accurate. Usually my predictions are pretty accurate as far as where things are gonna go overall. You know, it might not happen today, it might not happen tomorrow, but it's definitely headed there. And my predictions are that, you know, content creations, YouTubers, uh, people who make money online, it's gonna be the most booming market, one of the most booming markets ever, because more and more people, because more and more people are gonna be home. You know, more and more people are gonna be working from home, more and more people are gonna start to learn new skill sets to be able to make money from home. And if you haven't been doing that, why not? Why not put yourself in a position where you can learn how to earn passive income from home, where you can learn how to make money from home, make money using your cell phone, make money using your computer. Why haven't you done that if you haven't yet? It's just a question. And you can answer that question for yourself. You know, you, you've seen my story, you, you, you know, you, you watch my videos. You've been watching over the years, you know, uh, people build a foundation on the internet. You know, unfortunately, a lot of people won't make a new decision until their backs are against the wall. That's usually when people want to actually make a change and take action and do things that they've always wanted to do and chase after their dreams. Usually, a person has to have their backs against the wall. And what I'm realizing with this pandemic is a lot of people's backs are against the wall. A lot of people are in uncertain situations right now. And now they're more open to business than ever before. And they're gonna be, and this is gonna be, this is gonna be a shift that's gonna affect for many years to come because there are people who are just now setting up shop in an online business right now, right? And for the first time, they're gonna learn their power as an entrepreneur. Where if there was no pandemic, if there was no coronavirus, if there wasn't a threat of, you know, the economy crashing, because a crash is coming, you know that, right? Or you are aware of that, right? You are aware that a crash is coming economically. Now, I don't know if right now if they're trying to save it or not. But I know a crash is coming economically and it's gonna be far worse than what we think. It's gonna be far worse than what we think. Far, far worse. Which is why it's so important that you not only know how to make money, but you also become spiritually enlightened and you develop yourself as a person. Because if right here, if, if, they, if they mess with up here, you know, if, if, they, if they pollute your mind, if they pollute your mind to feel defeated, if they pollute your mind to feel hopeless, if they pollute your mind to feel like there's no other way out, well then that's gonna be your demise right there. The very thought that there's no other way, the very thought that there's no faith, there's no hope, there's no opportunity, that very thought is what's gonna hurt the people. But I know that that's a lie. I know that that's not the truth. There's opportunity here, it's just that you gotta take advantage of the opportunity. You gotta take advantage of the opportunity. You gotta realize that there has been a shift and you ask yourself, hey, how can I adjust? How can I adjust to these shifting times? What can I do? You know, you can do it. You have what it takes. You just gotta be willing to adjust. And, and that's really what, if you, even if you look into science, when you look into science and you talk about survival of the fittest, even in the animal kingdom, survival of the fittest in the animal kingdom, the animals that can survive the best are the animals that are able to adjust to the changes in conditions around them or the changes of, of climate or the changes of the situation around them. Those are the, the animals that can survive the best. So I'm not saying that you're an animal. You're a human being with a brain, with an imagination. You can think, you can create for yourself. Don't let them think for you. Don't let them have such control of your brain 
that you can't even realize the opportunity. A wise man sees opportunity where everybody else sees none. A wise man sees opportunity where everybody else sees none. A wise man sees opportunity where everybody else sees none. So you can create something out of nothing at this time as long as you're coachable, as long as you're willing to learn, as long as you're serious about getting mentorship, as long as you're willing to take action. You know, you can, you can make passive income. You got the internet now, you got social media. So I'm here to say that in these times, understand that crazy things are coming. And if you can't see it yet, if the signs aren't there apparent that crazy things are coming, then I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know, I don't know what it's gonna take for you to realize that shit is hitting the fan. You know, I don't know what it's really gonna take for you to realize that the economy is tanking it and 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 just certain my fault, uh it's part two of the video had gotten cut off when I was driving. Phone died, so now I'm at a different location hotel right now top secret location uh, going downstairs get me some get me some coffee real quick even though I probably shouldn't be drinking coffee because coffee is not the healthiest way to pep up you know caffeine is not the best way to pep up guys but uh but yeah so we're gonna continue talking about what we were talking about Earlier, I just want to get down to the lobby area where I can sit down and talk because I don't want to just be talking while people are walking by looking at me. So just bear with me for a little bit. We're going to take a ride down to the lobby now. Currently on the elevator. Okay, cool. Get me some coffee really quick. All right, I finally got my coffee, right? So we can continue talking about what we were talking about before. Uh, so yeah, the economy is... It's about to tank. Um, you know, we got this pandemic going on. Uh, we got people being laid off left and right. We got the unemployment rate increasing. Uh, and for years and years, I've really been on a mission just helping people to become financially free. But that was the focus before. That was the main focus. But I think the focus moving forward for humanity should be something even deeper than just financial freedom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's why I'm bringing up all of this stuff, not to scare you, but just to help you to get prepared, you know, help you to be able to su sustain the times that's coming, be able to sustain it really mentally and spiritually so that you can still have faith and you can still have that confidence that you need uh, to push through and overcome and persevere, you know what I mean? So uh, this is something that's been concerning me for the past few years now like the past two years now, um, as I've been working on a solution in the background, I think it's pretty much done, right? I have the solution and I think, when I think about the solution, it, it has to do with, of course, earning passive income, but really past that, really just helping you to become more spiritually grounded, have more of a spiritual understanding uh, and become personally developed at such a high level to where no matter what is happening on your outside world, it doesn't affect your inside world. Because really and truly, you know, the answers that you seek, the answers that you want to your financial freedom, you know, just your freedom to be you, just your freedom to, you know, because really, you know, when you look at society today, it's like the dollar is not worth what it used to be. Uh, people are being taxed left and right way more than they used to ever be taxed. You know what I'm saying? Like you get taxed when you buy something, you get taxed when you get your paycheck, you get taxed at the end of the year, like you, you get taxed constantly. And slowly but surely, people's funds are diminishing while the dollar's worth is diminishing at the same time. So just think ahead 20 years from now, think ahead 10 years from now, think ahead even five years from now, uh, where do you see things going? You know, do you think things are getting better or do you see things not getting better over the next five, 10, 20 years? You know, and this is what I think about. You know, and I try to uh, think about how we can come together and work together um, to, because it's really about the people at the end of the day. The more powerful the government becomes and the less power that the people have, the less rights the people have over time. And, and that's an unfortunate thing. So the solution 
I think has to do with just understanding and bring a, bringing awareness once you have the understanding. You know, once you have the understanding of who you are, why you're here, uh, how you want to help people in the world, how you want to serve people in the world to benefit people. Um, once you get clear on that, the next step is organization and unity. You know, organization and unity, if we work together, bringing awareness to what's going on and we work together, you know, you sharing your talents, you sharing your gifts, sharing whatever it is you're passionate about using your YouTube channel, that's a great way to earn passive income. You know, it's a great way to earn passive income using your YouTube channel because people are searching keywords every single day. There are billions of keywords out there that people are searching and believe it or not, they are looking for what you have to offer. But the question is, do you have a system in place? Do you have a product in place that's teaching you how to get your YouTube the maximum exposure it needs? You know, are you getting your videos Whatever content you're creating, is it getting the maximum exposure it needs? Are you get, bringing the awareness to your message? Are you bringing the awareness to your business? Are you bringing the proper awareness to your product? And this is just a question I'm asking you. You know, um, have you been using your YouTube channel? It's just a question. You know, have you been speaking your mind, speaking your story, sharing your story with the world? Have you been sharing value with the world? Uh, and the reason why I ask this is because so many people don't realize the amount of passive income they can earn with YouTube as long as they have their business organized. You know, as long as you have your business organized, there's no limit to the lives that you can impact here. You know, um, and if you hear some rain, it's just, it's a little rain, it's raining outside. So you might, it's just like I'm inside of like, it's pretty cool where I'm at right now. It's like, it has a nice, it's a nice uh, roof, see through roof, it's raining and stuff. So it's pretty pleasant though. I like the rain, I think it's kind of therapeutic. But yeah, so it's just some things to think about. I'm more so venting in this video and just getting you to think and getting you to just realize that, you know, this is deeper than just money though. You know, and I've discovered that over the last two years of my life that prosperity is deeper than just money. Prosperity comes really from within, from the understanding of yourself and your connection to the universe, your connection to other human beings, your connection to your community, your connection to your family, your relationships. Um, when you really master that stuff and you master your inner game, that's where every other area of your life is gonna fall and come together. You see, some people, they, they go after the money and they make money without even knowing who they are. You know, they go after making money without really developing themselves on the inside. And then they make this big money and then they run into a jam in their business, for example, right? Uh, I've seen a lot of people do this. Many, many people I've seen ran into through this, to this experience, go through this experience, even myself, right? So people make all this money without really knowing or having a clear vision of what they're trying to do. It's just about money, money, money. I just want to make the money. Then they make the money, then something goes wrong in their business and they don't know how to adjust. You know, they don't know how to, how to get it back on track. And then they lose sense of self self-worth, they lose a sense of self-confidence, people lose a sense of self-esteem, self, self and really just a sense of identity from losing money. You know, but really and truly, should a loss of some type of money or a loss of business necessarily make you lose sight of who you are? Should it help, should it make you really lose confidence? Should it really make you lose uh, self-esteem? Not really, when you really think about it, you know, because money is a piece of paper that man has put value on. And although we need money to cope, and although, well, I should say, we don't need money to cope, but we need money to get by and to survive. Although we need money to survive, if we have more of a deeper understanding of who we are, and we have a deeper understanding of, you know, we have the ultimate confidence to conquer whatever comes before us, then it really doesn't matter what adversity we face in life. We can always overcome. We can always supersede. You know what I mean? As long as you're spiritually enlightened, you can always overcome. You can always supersede. No matter what the obstacle is that's presented before you, you will find a way. You will find a way because when there's a will, there's a way. You know, and that's basically what I'm trying to say. So what I put together is something where it's not only about just learning how to really get the exposure of your, on your YouTube videos. It's more than just that, you know? It's more so, it really has big focus on just getting you, your subconscious mind in the right place. Because that's what's governing every decision you make is what's going on subconsciously in your mind. 
um, and of course your heart, right? Because what your heart desires is gonna have a connection to your mind, of course, you know what I mean? If your heart desires good things, uh, your mind should be in line with those good things as well, you know, so that your, your mind and your heart is in harmony, you know? And when your, mind is in heart and it, when your mind and heart is in harmony, it's easy for your subconscious and conscious mind to be in harmony. And then now you're finally moving in line in the direction of what you want in your life and you're not sabotaging that. You know, you're no longer sabotaging because a lot of people do that. You know, unfortunately, people will have a goal, they'll have a plan or a vision in mind, but as they start their journey, some situation will pop up or some unforeseen uh, bill they have to pay pops up or you know, something happens in their family, maybe they lost a loved one, and this completely distracts the average person from their mission. It completely distracts the average person from what they're supposed to be completing, you know? So the key is to stay focused on the prize, keep your eyes on the prize. And the only way you could stay focused and give your full, powerful attention on what you really want to create is by getting clear within, getting secure within. You know, and, and that's something where it does take learning the right information to get clear of who you are sometimes, you know. Uh, you know, there's a Bible scripture that says, Seek and ye shall find. Seek and ye shall find. Seek and ye shall find. That saying is so profound to me because I believe it's the truth. If you really, really dig in life and you really, really search for something that you truly want, eventually you're gonna find it. That's how life works. Eventually you're gonna find it. If you really dig for what you want, eventually you're gonna find it. It doesn't matter if it's an opportunity to earn passive income. It doesn't matter if it's an opportunity to be able to grow your money and have your money work for you. It doesn't matter if it's an opportunity where you're able to speak and be paid. It doesn't matter if it's an opportunity where you're able to entertain and be paid. Uh, it really doesn't matter if it's something you love doing or not. You know, at the end of the day, if you seek, you will find. If you seek, you will find. If you seek, you will find. So what have you been seeking in your life? Have you been seeking to partner up with the right people who have a similar vision as you? Have you been seeking ways to you know, mastermind with other people, get in line with other people who are headed in a powerful direction? Because believe it or not, partnering up with people who are headed in a powerful direction is very, very important for success. It's very important. Like I would not be successful today if I didn't get with other people who thought like me because I would feel alone in this world I would feel like it's only me trying to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish But when I realized that there's other people Early on in my career. I realized that there's not just me. There's many other people trying to quit their job There were many other people trying to earn residual income There was many other people, you know trying to run their business successfully online. It wasn't just me so I say that to say realize that coming together and masterminding is a very powerful thing, you know what I mean? It's a very powerful thing locking arms with people who are here to better the world and better, the, and better humanity, you know, because we're stronger when we, when we lock arms together. We're a million times stronger. So, and that doesn't mean that everybody has to do what you're doing or I have to, you have to do what I'm doing. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know? Um, it just means that you know, uh, what we can agree on. What can we agree on? You know, the things that we can agree on, I think is just, the things that I think we can all agree on is that the worth of the dollar is decreasing. The unemployment rate is, is the highest it's ever been. An economic crash is definitely coming. There's a pandemic right now that's scaring the whole entire world to a point where businesses are shutting down, the prosperity is dropping and stuff like that. Now. Also, what's another thing we can agree on? Another thing we can agree on is we don't necessarily know exactly what laws are going to be in place due to this pandemic and what laws are not going to stay in place due to this pandemic. You know, we don't really know, but we can agree that changes are happening right now. There's a big change happening. And the only way to be secure in a change in uncertain times, during times of darkness, if you will, the only, t the only way to be secure is to uh, really, really, really become spiritually solid. Become spiritually solid to where you're unfazable, to where it's like damn near you're unbothered, to where no matter what's going on around you, no matter the chaos, I can hear the guy right there, he's pulling out the trash, whatever he's doing, but I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on giving you my undivided attention in this video. But I don't have to focus on the noise. I don't have to focus on the distractions. You get what I'm saying? But 
unfortunately, many people go through life distracted, you know, and they don't know what to do when times like this hits the fan. So me, I've been very calm. I've been very peaceful. I've been very chill. I've been very uh, poised and relaxed and just structuring the game plan for what's now here, finally here, you know, uh, the solution to people's problems. That I really, I really believe in what I have here in the 300 to Freedom movement. I really believe it's gonna change people's lives, you know? And it's really for everybody because I see content creation as the future. That's gonna be the future. People are gonna, all kinds of people that you never thought were gonna create content, they're gonna start creating content because of the times that's coming and the times that's here now. But realize that in these transformational times, the best way to come out on top is to transform yourself. You know, spiritual and personal transformation. That's the answer. Spiritual and personal transformation. Spiritual and personal transformation. And then, of course, once that's solidified, of course, it's always great to be earning the money that you want. You know, it's always great to be doing that. So, uh, just think about what I've been talking about in this video today. Uh, I think if you have a message to share, you should be open with that message. Shouldn't shy away from what you believe. Stand on what you believe in. Believe in, you know. Uh, I heard say, the saying before that, if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. You know, if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. And that's just the truth. You know, so this is Jonathan Belcher. Without any further ado, uh, I just want to kind of vent in this video. I'm sorry this video had like two to three different parts. You know, the store, my phone storage is getting a little low. So I got to cut out some videos that I have recorded on here. Um, but I'm just going to go back up to my room, work on some more funnels, work on some more videos and stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Jonathan Belcher. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I make videos like this. Also, leave a comment below, right? If you appreciated this video, uh, if you got some type of value from this video, or if this video is helping you to realize something new, maybe about something about you, something about the world, um, whatever it is, whatever this video helped you to come to the realization of, leave a comment below letting me know and share this video with five friends or family. Share this video with five friends or family who you think may need to hear this information because believe it or not, the crash is coming, right? The crash is coming, the crash is coming. So what are you doing to prepare? What are you doing to position yourself in a powerful way so that you'll be okay for the times that are coming? This is Jonathan Belch, I'm gonna see you later. Peace.